boxes and no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal. Good afternoon, East Wing. Good afternoon, Pilgrims. Welcome. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Ah, the crazy chair awaits one of these bumpties. But this is a very exciting week for us. Arguably the most exciting week in the whole history of Deal or No Deal. This is the Monday before the Friday. The Friday, which will be our 500th show. Ooh, you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss the build-up to it because we're getting quite an exciting atmosphere here despite what happened yesterday with Steve. I was trying to think of a word to describe my feelings at the end of that game and I think it was just horrid. So we're looking to the real characters that we now have awaiting in the wings. We have Uncle Fester from the <laughs> Adams family. We have... Yeah, I'm not sure about him at all. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Gordon Brown. <laughs> Talk to us about prudence, Gordon. Fiscal prudence. Well, uh, hopefully we wouldn't be exerting any fiscal prudence or something. And 22 very different sums of money. <laughs> From 1p to the quarter of a million. We uh, hope that before we get to our 500th show, we do not recruit the 12th member of the 1p club. That was a horrible game with Adam recently. No, we're going into this fabulous week with massive positivity. And here come the players. Yes, indeed. For the record, you are player 496. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen, you are now the star of Deal or No Deal. Hello. Hello, Noel. Welcome to your game. Thank you. Do please take a seat. What's all this you've got here? Shall we get straight into...? Yep. That is my granddaughter's little bit of her comfort blanket. <laughs> she's, she's 27 now, like, but... No, she isn't, no. No, but that's her little bit of her comfort blanket <laughs> I brought. Um, she, looks, she looks after me. She's very protective of her grandma. You've done a lot of things in your time, Ooh, haven't you? I have. Cinema Rasherette, bingo cashier, mobile ice cream lady. Anything you haven't done? Probably there are, there are a few things I haven't done, but I've always tried to turn my hand to anything. Who's he? Um, he's he's a, a special friend now. Um, uh, as I say, I'd got to 74, um, and I'd just given up hope of finding anybody special. <gasps> I'd tried once or twice, it hadn't worked, so I thought, well, you know, this is it. Well, you never phoned. Oh. <laughs> well, shucks. See? Well... So, you got him? I did, yeah. Uh, he's got Sky Television, actually. I don't know whether I'm supposed to say that or not. <laughs> so I can go and watch all my football, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me method, in my ma method in my madness, you know. Ulterior motive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That's really good. There is only one little bit of housekeeping that I have to do for every single game. I need you to confirm you chose box number 12 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Kathleen, we wish you all possible luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Um, right. Uh, I'll start with my son's birthday, number 19. Good luck. Thank you. Number nine, Usha. 
Oh, smile. Smile, I want to I was thinking smile. something else. You were far away there. I know. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Monday. <laughs> Swing. Did you all have a late night or something? I am so sorry, Kathleen. It's we quite will, all we right. will get them sharpened up. Can you do it now? Yeah, we've been waiting. <laughs> Unusual. A call in the middle of a round. Hello, banker. Yes, it's the middle of a round. Yes. That's all right. Uh, okay, your mistake. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think we're the only two who are following the plot at the moment. Oh, you know? oh yes. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, man. Wake up at the back. <laughs> Number six, Joe. Joe? Are you sure? Come on, Joe. Ooh. Come on, Joe. You can do it for me. Oh. Good luck, Kathleen. It's been lovely meeting you. Thank you. Yeah, and she says that before destroying people's games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fraser, darling, number 20. Come on, Fridge, give Come us on, an all-blue opening round. Thank you, darling. Yeah! Well, we wanted, we wanted our 500th week to be a... A memorable week, and we have a Monday game with an all-blue opening round. You must be feeling good. Oh! <laughs> I'm, take, I'm speechless. Take that as a yes, off. then. Hello. I know you've been looking forward to Kathleen's game. Oh, the fan of satellite TV who's a dish in her own right. Oh, that's very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Thank you, Mr. Banker. He's got lots of channels. Has he? He's got all the channels. In fact, his package is the biggest you can get. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. Go on. Okay, thank you. For the opening offer for box number 12, 11,000 pounds. <laughs> Haven't had one that big for a while. Very nice. Is Very nice. nice. That's lovely. That's a lot, a lot of money. That's lovely. wonderful. Wonderful. I won't, I won't ask for any help at this stage, I don't think. Okay. So, you can ask me the question, please. Eleven thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Brian, number 16. See what you can do for me. Did you want this box? Yes. <laughs> Says that. Yeah. I'll get it in there. Shall I open it now? Yes, please, if you would, Brian. <laughs> 35,000. No, not. <laughs> number 13, Mike. Okay, come Mike. On. Come on, baby. All the best. Baby? Five thousand. So I'll have number fourteen, please, Sophie. Sophie, you know what happens now? 
open the box? No. <laughs> no, we stop. But we invite Kathleen to invite the nation to return to her game. Address the nation, please, Kathleen. Will you please come back after the interval and join in my game? I've had five blues and I'm going to get some more. Please come back. Hi, I'm Morris the Poet. Deal or no deal, change my life, and don't I know it. Happy 500. And welcome back. After the interval, I liked that. That was from your days as a cinema usherette. Definitely, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Um, if you're going to make this an all-red round, may I suggest the next box is either 3,000 or 1,000? I'll do my very best. Now. Do you remember where you were going? I was going to Sophie number 14. Thank you, Sophie. Good luck. Thank you. Yes! Yeah, you nice Spot on. Lovely. Well done. Happy? Yes. Good. Yep. Excellent. Always happy. Oh, that's good. Well, you've got reason to be happy. Yep. A bit more reason today, so far. Hello. Ooh, he's regretting the fact that he gave his comfort blanket away. Doesn't have it anymore. No. 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 He no used idea. to have a lovely one. It. Soft brown leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's his dad's wallet. <laughs> Thank you. Despite the 35,000 going, the other two really weren't too painful for you. They were for him. Therefore, there it is. Your offer is 15,000. Wow. Very good. So that box. That's a lot of money. It is. She'll pass an opinion and finish off by saying, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sophie, what do you think? <laughs> what do you really think, love? I really think that you can definitely go another round. Right. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Definitely another round. I love her. I love you. <laughs> definitely another round. Definitely another round. Yeah. It's a four bar yeah. fight. Oh, she's, oh, she's overdoing it now. <laughs> Desperate to prove she's paying attention. <laughs> Even I'm going to say yeah. I should go another round. What? I don't <laughs> believe that. Incredible. Ooh. She's got a little comfort blanket still, you see. The 10, yeah. 15 and 20. Yeah. Oh. Right, no. Ask me the question, please. 15,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. John, number four, please. Sock it to me, Dave. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Three thousand, that's fine. find the 1p and the 10p, Kathleen, you would have created one of the strongest games we've had in many months. Dan, number five, please. Dan? Come Good on, luck, Dan. Kathleen. I'm getting scared now. Kathleen, that that is 
incredibly strong. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting phone call. Hello, Mr. Banker. You're not happy. Come on, Didums. Come on, coochie coochie coo. No crying. Uh, I don't think I could push a tissue down the phone to you, but you need one, do you? <laughs> Thank you very much. 21,000. Yes! Hang on. Yes. I'm obliged to modify the offer. I'm obliged to tell you what it is. I wish I didn't have to. It's 21,000 and 10p. The Tempe p to remind you of Stephen's game yesterday. Oh. Yep. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. Annie says. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked banker. It was wicked, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's quite a strong board, yeah. Still got my big four. I think if I could just get another three blues out, I think that would be really good. Yeah. Yeah. I can ask another question now. 21,000 pounds and 10 pence, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. It's fantastic. It's a really lot, lot of money to me. But I think I'll no deal this time. Yes! Jenny, 22. I've been trying not to make eye contact with you because I've had all reds apart from one blue. You're going, so to, you're going to have a blue now. It's going to be blue. Going you're just going to change it now. OK. Thank you. 10,000. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Alan, number 17, please. Yeah, the very best of luck. or 10p would be sensational. Look at that. Savour it. We've not had such a powerful position for a very long time. If you take out any of the blues in this box, you are going to have a monster offer. If you could get the 1p or the 10p, it's going to be fantastic. Do encourage them to come back after this break. You could be our next quarter million. Will you please come back after the interval and join my game? It's fantastic. You'll be there. Hi, I'm Debbie. Deal on no deal got me a break big pink wedding. So happy 500. Welcome back after the interval. Very nice to have you with us. I knew you'd come back because of this. There isn't anybody in their right mind who wouldn't have come back. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, cool. the roof would go off here if you could find the 1P. Number seven. Number seven, seven please. Gavin, Gavin the banker, seven. will be terrified if we can keep the top four in play. Give us all the miss, Mummy. Absolutely amazing. At this point, this is a lot stronger than Laura's game. She, who he won't name, but she who in January got the quarter of a million. Hello. 
this is focusing you, isn't it? You've got to take Kathleen very seriously now. We had a little bit of a little bit of a moment there, Kathleen. Mm. Oh, I think he's testing you. He now wishes to purchase box number twelve from you for thirty-two thousand pounds. Yes. It is, pounds. it is a fantastic offer. But you do have one of the strongest game boards in memory. It's a dream scenario. 20 and 15 as fallback. And the four biggest numbers that we play for every day still undiscovered. Stand up if you think I should deal. <laughs> Is that really just two people yeah. stood up? They're members of Annie's family. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... Oh, he's ringing to say he's standing up. <laughs> Sit down again. Those foolish pilgrims <laughs> it's not their money and they won't have to go home to explain to Laura what nanny did wrong oh that's low that's low what do you think Ken it's a lot of money to you it's 32,000 I know it that it you is. know what I'd do would you deal no no but then, I'm a different person to you. You can ask me the question now. £32,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. It's going to be all right. It will be all right. Brave, but it will be all right. Darker says courage in both hands. You are a brave lady, and every single person, bar those two and Annie, are with you. Ross number two, please. Good luck, Kathleen. Fine. <laughs> We are just on the edge of an unprecedented situation here. Lane 21, please. Come on, do it. Do it. 75,000, OK. Well, we knew we'd do some damage. OK, we knew it was inevitable there'd be some damage there, but if we could have 10p or 250 pounds, even the 20,000, it would be an amazing position to be in. 11's my number, but I, I don't know whether I want to take it now for luck or to leave it. Number 15, Asim. Please. Asim, 10p, £250. We can even take 20,000 at this point. Keep us going. Mummy, you've given us all so much love. I really, really hope it's a blue. Open it.
you feeling? I don't know. You don't know? No. I've just gone numb. Do you think he's gone for a lie down? I think he's already lying down. Hello, Mr. Van Kamp. Those who study the game closely can probably anticipate what the offer is, because we have the Laura connection. Do you remember the offer before she went on? The one that he thought would get her out of the chair, and she actually said no deal. Was it 45? It was. Your offer is 45,000 oh. pounds. Forty-five thousand. Mm, it is a lot of money, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Jenny, what do you think? Well, I think with the luck that you're having at the moment, that is a fantastic offer. But I still offer. think maybe one more. I seem to get a bit of a groan around here. We were at two dealers last time. Would the dealers stand up, please? <laughs> it's not a commanding number, though. Thank you very much. Thank you. What would you say? Not even. Yeah. Maybe 20%. I know the 50,000 is still there, but then the two biggies are there. But if I take the two biggies out on this next round... You've still got 50,000. I've still got 50. But if, if I wanted a, the amount that she's offered me now, I would have to go right to the end, wouldn't I? Yes, you want to take 10p, 20,000. Bizarrely, throw away 50,000. That's the dream next round. You know what, you can ask me the question, please. You ready? Mm -hmm. £45,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. <laughs> But now, but now, now, now we have to prove that that was not only a very, very good decision for Kathleen, but it was also a very wise decision for the gameplay. Right. We need you to play on with total honesty. I will. And now all fingers are crossed that actually you haven't thrown away a huge opportunity in your life. Mark number one. Mark, it's with you. If it was the ideal scenario, it's 10p, 20,000 or 50,000, but we need you to come at it completely the other way. Open box number one. Good luck, Kathleen. 10p. <laughs> Fabulous start. No, don't clap. Don't clap, so, Kathleen. Sorry. That was the dream start. Now you've got to get them. Maria, number 10, please. Maria. Show us the biggie. No! No! It was the perfect round in the perfect order. And now, if this is 50,000, it's a massive opportunity thrown away. The two largest are in number 11 and number 12. You think so? So you believe that K has 50,000? K? K, number three, please. You have to have the quarter of a million. Prove her wrong. Go. I hope so, Kathleen. Quarter million. No! <laughs> I knew it. That was the perfect round. That was exactly what you had to do. You were literally 
less than a minute away. You were so, so close. Hello, Mr Bunker. You were so, so close. A far stronger position than Laura, our first ever quarter millionaire, was in. She didn't have that option. Hello. Oh, Kathleen. Oh, Kathleen. In the space of just that minute did it take to open three boxes, you would have been £100,000 better off. £145,000 would have been the offer. I know it's my, it's my lucky day and, all right, I'm left with that situation, but I've got £45,000. What would you have done at this point? This is purely for me. Would you have decided it really was your lucky day yeah. and turned your back on 145,000? With having the Laura's birthday, my lucky number, that's my birthday. Right. Uh, I would have said no deal. You just said no deal. You would always get the swap because the quarter mill is in play at this point. Mm. So would you have brought your birthday to the table or would you have stuck with Laura's no, birthday? No, I would have kept Laura's. Okay. Right then. So here it is. Now I have to say, I am hoping it's not the quarter of a million. Because the longer it doesn't come to the table, my little brain says, well, it's got to turn up one day. And then we have to find a player who goes all the way to get it. Yeah. And it'd be great if that happened this week. So I'm sort of hoping it's not there, if you understand what I mean. I do. Yes. So let's just have a look and see. How big was his victory? Could you have been our second quarter millionaire? No. <laughs> right then. So at least we don't have the scenario that uh, we blew the opportunity to create a quarter millionaire because you wouldn't have swapped because that was Laura's box. Laura's birthday. But wasn't it amazing? Over there in my your lucky birthday. number box is the quarter of a million. Would you please prove it? Quarter of a million sitting over there. Wonderful. It's sweet, isn't it? Wonderful. Kathleen. £45,000. That was an amazing game. Wasn't that an absolutely incredible configuration that was presented on the board at the end? What I loved about it, even though it is a big victory for the banker, he had a really stressful game. And I think that's good news for tomorrow. And I like the idea the quarter million didn't come to the table because... Well, in my little head, it makes me think, maybe it'll be tomorrow, or maybe it'll be the day after, or could it be the 500th show? This is going to be a great week. I hope you're with us tomorrow. Ooh, yes, £45,000. See you next time.